like I said, you know, you're going to start observing some changes, okay? Changes in the weather. Already they're talking about in Canada that they had to have artificial snow for the um, Olympics, for the skiers, you know, because it's getting warmer. But the difference here is we're experiencing more colder uh, climates, more colder, um, you know, weather here. Because what they're doing is they, they um, and I have a documentary on that, they're actually spraying the upper atmosphere with artificial clouds. And so you'll look up sometimes, I want you to pay attention to the clouds. The lesson is paying attention to the clouds, okay? I want everybody, to pay, I'm sorry, paying attention to the sky. The sky reveals all of the different mysteries and it, it reveals the future, okay? So definitely start doing your little journal in your book of shadows recording some activity that you've noticed with the stars with the sky at night with the moon you know and everything and even with the sun that is it's very important that we do that you know and um so we want to do that but anyway if you know if you notice i say sometime between the middle of the week you'll start seeing the planes and what they'll do the planes will do they will go and they will spray Sometimes they make like cross crisscrosses and tic tac tic tac toe effects, tic tac toe effects. I'm sorry. And what they're doing, I have a documentary and I will share it with you all. All you have to do is say, "Hey, I want to see it," and I will show it to you. Um, also, they're using the ships too to spray. The ships go out in the sea and they are, um, they spray artificial clouds too. And what is this? What what this is doing is trying. They're trying to protect the protect us from the extreme uh, rays of the sunlight because the, the rays can get so bright and they're getting so bright until it's going to get to a point you're going to need shades because they're going to be actually able to burn your cornea and um, like this past summer it was so I mean the sun was so hot I mean I had a sunburn do you see how dark I am I had a sunburn, so the sun is getting very dangerous. I mean, a lot of people say, oh, I don't believe you, whatever. But it's going to get to a point where we're going to have to actually have coats, uh, special suits and stuff like that on to protect our skin. And I know you looking at me saying, she, this is ridiculous. You know, she just don't know what she's talking about. She's nuts and she's this, she's that, whatever. But, you know, it's just it's going to take time for people to start noticing it. And when they do notice it, it's going to be a little bit too late. But what they're doing, and when they spray the clouds, they are actually trying to protect us from the ozone. No, I'm sorry. They're trying to protect us from the rays of the sunlight, these ultraviolet rays that are so, this radiation that is so dangerous, okay? Now, a lot of what it does, uh, what it's doing to people, what they're spraying, it's causing a lot of itching in the throat, a lot of coughing. Some of you have may have noticed a lot of sinus problems and stuff because a lot of us are allergic to some of that stuff. A lot of people say it's poisonous and stuff. You know, anything unnatural can be poisonous. A lot of man-made things can be poisonous. So I've heard a lot of things that they say can happen to us. But when you think about it, you know, what would we want? Would we want to them to control the weather and protect us from the sun or would we want it to just stay naturally hot and let it just continue to just uh, do some serious damage to our DNA it can damage our DNA it can damage so many things so because um this great scientist I like him he's on the um he's always on the science channel you all may have seen him he's an Asian guy and he has gray hair and he's a physicist and he had this theory, he had this thing going on where he said that there are three levels of humans in the omniverse, of the multiverse. And he said that there's a level zero, a level one, and a level two humanoid in the multiverse. He said the level zero is just quite dependent on nature, you know. And that would be us. We pretty much, you know, I think we write in our infancy, infancy uh, as to controlling the weather a bit, just in our infancy. Because now we were great gods at one time, but there was a disturbance, which is the same shift and disturbance that is coming back to us once again that shook us and 
put us back into the womb and now we're trying to evolve again so that 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 happens that happens a lot in the multiverse and that's what has happened to us here on our mother planet earth so we're at level zero then we have level one level one is the humanoid on that particular planet or their particular universe they are able to actually control the um, weather and um, they can use the sun to do so many things to power up vehicles to power everything you know and at the same time too they're able to create like I said their weather again they have a lot of control of nature in creating their weather now level two human noid would be those who are able to create their own universe their own planets their own sun their own everything and they may be the gods that created us so anyway I really enjoyed his uh, theory and I thought it was very interesting that you know that something like that could be and it's so believable to me it is so believable because you know um, we just really don't know all we can do is to imagine you know and with our imagination is so real I mean it's so it's it, it's so believable you know I, what I want to say about the imagination that is the that is us tapping into the universe to unveil to uh, uh, unveil all of the secrets is what I'm trying to say about the imagination and so you know it, we don't realize that children are the most intelligent beings that exist because they create and they uh, imagine every day all day long and I mean that is so close to that's the closest you could ever get to the divine with a child okay and we lose a lot of that as we grow older and we interact with the day-to-day -day things but now we're gonna be coming back to that because there's this force that is so much greater than us but we are a part of that force and that is the shift that I'm talking about right now okay so I'll be back in just a second to create another video so we can finish this up, okay? Okay. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I got to come back in a minute. Okay. Be back in a minute.